Hello, I'm Nick Graf, and today I would like to introduce you to serverless. Let's get started by typing in serverless into the terminal, and then this will provide us with a list of all the available commands. The one command we care about right now is the serverless create command. Let's type it in, including dash dash help, to actually see all the available options. There is template, path, and name. The template is the only one that is required, and it allows you to specify uh, what kind of environment you want to choose. For example, uh, the Amazon Node.js environment or Python or Scala. And in the future, we're going to even add Google Cloud functions or Azure functions. Um, the second one is Path, which allows you to specify where the service should go uh, on your system. And the third one is the name. Running this command just created a service for us. Let's look into the directory. And if we list all the files, we can see there's two essential files, which is the serverless YAML, which is a configuration, and the handle.js. Let's look into the serverless YAML. In the first line, we define the service name. Then there's a section for the provider with the name and runtime defined. And in the end, we have a list of functions. In our case, we only have one hello function, which actually is defined in the handler.js. We export it here and it has three arguments the event, context, and callback. Later on, we compose the response for status code and body. And in the end, to successfully return, we invoke the callback with the response a second argument. As a next step, we want to actually try if this handler works locally. So let's run serverless invoke local. Um, we run the help command first to see what options are available. And you can see there's a function option. So let's run serverless invoke local dash dash function hello. And if you run this, you get a response of the function. But since the whole purpose of this exercise is to actually run code on AWS, we run serverless deploy. During that, the whole service is packaged, a CloudFormation stack is created, and the whole thing is eventually deployed. Once done, serverless will prompt you with a lot of useful information. For example, the stage, region, or the unique identifiers of each function, the ARNs. As a last step, we actually want to test if our function deployed properly. So let's run serverless invoke dash dash help to figure out all the available options. You can see it has a couple of more, but the ones that are relevant to us is dash dash function to provide the function name. And we also want to see the log right away. So let's invoke our function and you can see we got the response as well as the log output. Congratulations, you deployed and invoked your first serverless function.